guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video, and today I'm bringing you guys a small little update video. I know I've been uploading a video in just about two weeks, so I thought I would give you guys a little bit of an update so you guys can see something on the channel. Uh, but I've been pretty busy recently. Uh, I've been, you know, school's been ramping up, especially guys that are in university. Um, you know, exams are coming up. And there's been a lot of assignments and little tests that have been kind of popping up here and there. And I've just been kind of busy. Uh, even though I haven't uploaded too many YouTube videos, I have been playing a lot of NHL games. And the reason why I've been playing a lot more is because uh, I did a live stream for the Community Team of the Year that came out last week. And I was playing with this really, really overpowered team. I would say like a 7 to 8 million coin team. And I lost against some people that had these really... I wouldn't say really bad teams, but some average teams in Division 1, and I got absolutely smoked, and that kind of got me fired up a little bit. Uh, and in this past, I would say, week and a half, I played about 30 or 40 uh, games. Pretty crazy. But I've really been practicing, trying to kind of improve my game a little bit, so then my hot roulette and my pack squads can be a little bit better. And I will talk about those series in a little bit as well, but as you guys can see, the record has really upgraded since uh, I've been playing a lot more games obviously a lot more losses but uh, I'm playing in division one it's definitely not too easy and I thought you know what in this video I will give you guys a small little team update as well it is pretty disgusting and I thought you know what uh, you guys probably want to see my team anyways I haven't really done a team update this year so I've really been uh, playing a lot of games recently and um, you know what I've really been liking this team it's obviously really overpowered. I mean, you guys probably are looking at it right now like, what the hell, Am Charles? Why are you playing with this team? And trust me, like, I get so much shit uh, for playing with this team. I mean, even in all the messages I get after games and even, you know, people that watch my channel, uh, they told me I should be ashamed of myself for playing this game if I were to lose or something like that. But honestly, I haven't played with these players all year and I kind of had this little chance to take a little break from YouTube, a little break from, I guess, school. Anytime I had some free time, I would kind of build up this team and then just play some games. And I've really been enjoying it. Honestly, I kind of wanted to uh, practice playing with a really overpowered team. Like, I haven't done this the whole year. I thought it would be an awesome opportunity, even though I'm getting a lot of shit for it. But whatever, you know, that, that's that. Uh, I will give you guys a small little update, just tell you guys what players I really like on this team. And um, from what I saw, I, I was playing a lot of players in Division... Uh, not I was playing a lot of players in Division 1, a lot of easy opponents, a lot of hard opponents. And uh, for the most part, I kind of copied what other people were using. I have a lot of coins to spare, so I thought I would kind of copy the top players. I played a lot of top 100 players as well. Got my ass smoked for sure on those games, but at the same time... Um, you know what? It's a lot of fun. It's a lot. It's really good learning experience at least uh, Practicing against those good guys. I never quit out a game. So uh, it's always nice to see how people score on me. So Anyways Larkin, uh, Bergeron, and Kessel. As you guys can see Bergeron got a nice little team of the year upgrade So uh, having him on the first line center cannot complain about him at all He's just an awesome centerman has amazing shot amazing hands uh, amazing skating as well He's definitely the overall card. I like to use uh, Larkin and Kessel I put the assistant captain on Kessels just so he's a little bit faster. Honestly, um, I could change the assistant captain. He's not been doing too much for me. Uh, but Larkin, nice little lineup there. And then we got Brett Hull, or sorry, Bobby Hull. Uh, we also got Jack Eichel. I've never tried out his any of his cards. And uh, I saw a lot of people using him as well, the Eichel card. And I decided, you know what, I'll buy him out. I bought him for 330k while his price was pretty low in the team of the year. So I thought, why not? Give him a shot. And uh, it'll be a nice little compliment with Alexander Ovechkin. I mean, Ovechkin's all about that shot. Having Eichel as a setup guy, can't complain about that uh, line up as, at all. Like, Brett, uh, Bobby Hull, I keep calling him Brett Hull. Bobby Hull is just a really big quickster. Uh, small quickster, I mean. 5'10", 191 pounds. Uh, kind of gets the puck in the zone. Eichel Ovechkin kind of gets the job done. Uh, and then the next line, um, Tyler Toffoli, Backstrom, and Tarasenko. I saw a lot of top players using Tyler Toffoli Movember, having them on their first and second lines. And I was like wondering why they want to use Tyler Toffoli. I mean, his card's only worth like 80, 90k. And after I tried him out, I haven't gone back. Like, he's a very nice card to have. 93 shooting, 93 hands. For 80k, like, you can't complain about his card at all. It's just an awesome card to have. Uh, but that is basically my third line. I uh, really like that line for sure. On the fourth, we got Corey Perry. Uh, we got Dreisaitl and Zetterberg. 
Um, I just recently bought this fourth line, I guess. Uh, Corey Perry, not so much. He's been on my team, but I kind of like him a little bit more than Philip Forsberg. And anytime you have um, Corey Perry on your fourth line left wing, I mean, I, I don't know. You, you know your team is overpowered for sure. Uh, Dry Seidel, recently bought him, gave him his debut a couple of games ago, so I can't really give you guys a, uh, in a review on him, I guess. As well as Henrik Zetterberg, overall a really good player, just a little bit on the slower side in my opinion. But going on to the defense here, Brent uh, Burns, we got Zdeno Chara, uh, very good defender pairing, although Zdeno Chara is a little bit slow. Uh, anytime someone has like a Pavel Bury or someone really quick on that left wing, uh, Char just gets beat every single time. So I might be taking him out very soon. Uh, I just recently lost the game, but don't mind that. Roberto Luongo, Ben Bishop, the cheat code. I mean, I, this is the cheesiest ass team. I'm not going to lie. You guys are probably going to give me shit in the comments, but this is a very, very uh, cheap team to use. Not going to lie, but at the same time, just so much fun, uh, especially when I have the coins and the players in my collection. Uh, Hampus Lindholm, uh, Aaron Ekblad, honestly very solid players. If there's a player that you guys want to buy that's cheap, um, Hampus Lindholm, one of my favorite defenders on this defensive core, and that just says a lot about him. He's like 80 or 90k, really, really cheap because of the flash forward cards that came out recently, but uh, he is just a really good, fast player, and he plays really well defensively as well. And he's kind of big too, 6'3", 205 pounds. Um, definitely can't complain about him. Uh, Morgan Riley, Shea Weber. Saw a lot of people using this combo in um, the top 100, top 200 players, so I thought I would copy that defender pairing, and I really like that. But that is pretty much a team update. Just kind of want to show you guys what I've been rocking with and what I've been playing with. So you guys see me in Division 1 playing some games. Uh, you can quit in the first minute. I, I wouldn't be too mad, but at the same time, like, I'm not the greatest player. I'm not, like, a guy that will circle around and, uh, like, amazing at stick handling. I'm still practicing quite a bit, so... I kind of just want to improve my game for the most part. Anyways, uh, that's about it for that team update. I also want to kind of talk to you guys about some series uh, that I've been having on my channel, like Hot Roulette and Pack Squats, like I said in the beginning of this video. This is like my third take, so I'm not even sure if, like, um, I already said that in the beginning of the video or if I said that in the, my previous uh, take. But uh, Hot Roulette and Pack Squads. I'm going to be restarting both of those series, and the reason why I'm doing that, even though I've only gone like five episodes into Pack Squads and Hot Roulette, I really think it's the end of the series for sure. I mean, we're 25 episodes in, uh, the record is kind of all over the place in terms of how many points I have in the division, so I'm just thinking I'm going to be restarting the series, uh, Hot Roulette for sure, uh, the team is pretty stacked already, I have Ovechkin on it, that's why you know I put the change team on Ovechkin, I was kind of done with Hot Roulette. Um, but I want to restart. I was thinking, you know what? I'm going to do all my series on my main account. And the reason why is because of Pack Squads, it kind of made me realize how much I hate playing in Division 10, 9, 8, so any other division other than Division 1. It, it, makes, it makes my commentary very boring. And the reason why I say that is even though I am winning a lot of games and, you know, uh, my team is getting a lot better. I, I really don't enjoy playing against opponents that uh, just aren't as good as me. I, I don't want to sound cocky or anything, but I've been playing sin in Division 1 since NHL 13. And I've always been a really top player. And just playing in Division 10, 9, 8, it is just really, really boring to me. And it's one of the reasons why I haven't even uploaded a Hot Roulette or Pack Squads uh, recently. It just just playing so many games to get back into Division 1 it, it is a struggle for me, even though I don't even play that many games already. And playing another 60 games to get into Division 1, it is kind of um, unmotivating, to say the least. So, I'm going to re be restarting pack squads. I'm going to be basically scrapping the whole team. And that is kind of my final decision here. I know some of you guys want to keep me playing in Division 8, but at the same time, like, I, I just can't do it. I, I really can't. Uh, I think you guys will really enjoy me playing in Division 1. I'm not going to be going with a bronze team, like how I start off Hut Roulette or in Pack Squads. Uh, I'm going to be rocking with just a whole gold pack team. I'll open up like three premium gold jumbo packs. Whenever I get in that pack, I have to throw into the team. And then we'll start the series off from there. And uh, we'll basically just play a, a ton of games before the end of the year happens in, for NHL 16. And pretty much NHL 17 is just around the corner, like four or five months from now. And... You know what, I want to be pumping up more videos for you guys. I want to be able to motivate myself to play more games. And honestly, even though this team is very overpowered, I'm having so much fun in Division 1. Even though there are a lot of people that, you know, 
have a lot of methods of scoring goals. I, I've trust me, my eyes have opened up so much on how people play in Division One NHL 16 that uh, I've kind of been enjoying it. You know, it, it's a big learning experience for me. And I've really been liking playing Division One. One of the reasons why I kept playing like 30, 40 games this past couple weeks is just. I don't know. I've been enjoying a lot more than those Division 8, 7 gameplays where it's like, God damn, I, I can predict exactly what the defender is doing. And too much of the time, they rush up the ice with the defenders and I get the breakaway. And no one wants to see like a double backhand and then a backhand forehand, like all the episode, right? And Division 1, it kind of varies away from that. So I'm rambling on here. That is pretty much it for this update video. I mean, it's probably around 10 minutes or so. But at the same time, I kind of want to just upload this video. So... I mean, I want this to be the first upload I make since I haven't uploaded a video in two weeks rather than just randomly starting a Hut Roulette episode and, you know, people asking me questions like where I've been recently and, you know, blah, 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 blah. Just want to bring you that update. Although I'm pretty sure, you know, we're going to get sworn with comments asking me for players and stuff like that. But uh, I just kind of want to show you off the team a little bit and what I've been playing with. I'm not, like, trying to brag anything about this team. Obviously, it was given to me by EA, basically. And I don't know. It's just been a lot of fun. Uh, trying to motivate myself to play some more games. Uh, I will be opening up some packs uh, in the next week or so. I know there's some awesome team of the years and the defensive team of the year. Uh, Ryan Suter, Patrice Bergeron, Anze Kopitar, Roberto Luongo. Lots of very nice cards, and I definitely want to try pulling some of those guys because, uh, you know what, there's some pretty nice cards there. We will go for a hunt for them. And uh, just a little bit, what else do I have to talk about? Uh, series will be coming out, Pack Squads, Hunt Roulette, they will be coming out shortly. Uh, they will be a little bit slow when they first come out, but once uh, school ends for me in mid-April, around mid-April, uh, I will be able to dedicate 100% of my effort into doing YouTube, and I don't have to stress about, about school or assignments or anything like that. I will get to put 100% of my focus into YouTube. So that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, let me know anything you want in the comment box below. I'm happy to answer some of your questions about some players or if you want to, be, want to talk about something else. Uh, feel free to leave a comment box, comment in the comment box below. That's about it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. And oh, there's another board card. Damn, these mega packs are just on fire. He's not one of the best ones, but I will definitely take him.